What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video. This is Suit and Tie Media coming at you with episode 5 of our full grind and walkthrough of um, Summer's Wars. So, in the last couple of days, I know I haven't posted in about a week. It's been a while. A uh, really busy week last, you know, the previous week that we just passed. But a lot of different stuff has been happening. We've pretty much just been grinding, trying to get our runes up. Um, I've become kind of a horde, hoarder so to speak, because um, I've been putting runes on pretty much all of our nat 3s. Um, in my defense, I haven't pulled a nat 4 or anything yet, so really I've been having to use whatever I can. And um, what I think, I think, oops, didn't mean to put that up. I think what I want to try and do for this is kind of explore by using a lot of different monsters. And um, because I don't think my luck is going to be very good on this account, so um, I'm going to, you know, try and counter that with doing a lot of different monsters. It may take a, long, a longer period of time to get six star, you know, five star max monsters or whatever, but if we can make different combos to work, that should be fine in my opinion. Um, nothing in the magic shop here, so we're going to check because that new event came out. By now, all you guys should know about it, but if you don't, here it is. Basically, you just follow the... Um, Follow, for example, daily. Oops, daily missions completed. Seven energy use. Um, just get to fifteen hundred. It'll take a while, but I mean, it's not so hard. Um, we should be doing the daily missions now, to be honest. So we'll do that. Achievement. We get a thousand, thousand mana. So that's okay. Um, for this episode, I'm thinking. Well, let's go ahead with. Uh, hmm. So actually, we cleared this first, this first bit of the island, and we can't beat to more desert yet because our monsters just aren't good enough for it. We don't have enough runes, or maybe level. I don't know. So we're going through and clearing some more of these, and um, we've been spending a lot of time, pretty much in giants. To be honest, that's that's really all it's been. Trying to get our runes up. Um, I think we're gonna attempt this again. I ha I'm trying to make different teams for every scenario, just so I can make the biggest expandage of. Is that even a real word? Is that a real word? What expandage? No. No. Expansion. Expansion. No. Expand it. What are you trying to say? Like, I don't know. Oh well. Um, if you guys are wondering who's talking to me, it's actually Sky. Um, he's part of Suit and Tie Gamers or Suit and Tie Media. Excuse me. Um, he's been here for a while well, behind the scenes, and he is actually here in person. He's going to be uploading some videos with us. Our goal is to hit 20 videos by the end of this week. We've already recorded one, so one down, 19 left. We'll see if we can do it. Um, or should we take this team in? It looks like it would be okay, but attack speed, we don't necessarily need that. And my phone is going off. Of course it has to go off now. Why, why would it do anything other? Um, we're going to take an all-water team in here and see what goes on. We should be okay, and we actually have been getting some reps. This is a this is the only non-magic knight. No, there's also a fairy, but other than that, uh, it's cool to see something other than just magic knights as our uh, friend monsters. So we'll see what we can do with it. Um, we're only at three minutes and thirty seconds, so we're actually it only took three and a half minutes to speak. Um, okay, so. Basically, if you guys are wondering what, what I'm using these units for, um, the Water Fairy, again, is a healer, and um, pretty much kind of a damage dealer still, although she's going to trail off very soon. Um, the Water War Bear has the leader skill of 15% HP, which is not crazy, but it does help in these early rounds when, again, we need anything we can get. The Magic Knight, obviously, is our best attacker and farmer. Um, she's going to be taking care of the bulk of everything. I take her into anything that's going to seem dangerous. And our Water Frankenstein, he is actually a tank. He has an AoE Provoke, which is very low percent chance um, when he's unskilled. So it's obviously, you know, you might get one or two monsters, but if he's fully skilled with 100% accuracy, he'll be able to provoke all monsters. Um, as well as he has a passive that does not allow the defense to be broken. So pretty much, you know, you build him straight defense or straight guard runes, he will do perfect for you. That's that's all it will take. And he has a stun skill, so um, really good utility monster. Uh, we'll see if we can beat out this um, 
this stage. My idea is just to get through these stages, level up a little bit more, and hopefully be able to take on some more desert. Because we've been stuck for a little while. Um, like I said, I've been trying to work on the runes. I know everybody's going to be like, okay, maybe it's not the greatest idea that, you know, I'm making so many monsters, maybe I should stick with one or two. But this is the full guide, so I didn't want to spare you guys any resources. If I can show you every single monster in the game, I'm going to go ahead and attempt it. So, we'll see. Um, we get a... Uh, not, it's not really that great. We'll keep it. In the beginning, we would have wanted to get any rune we could. But now, you know, now that we're doing uh, giants, we should be a little bit better. Um, and I need to turn down my phone. Let me see if I can do that. Okay. Alright, should be better now. Um, now this is pretty much the easy easy win team. We're going to take these in because I don't think my win monsters are going to be able to do much damage. So, um, with that being said, I have actually, we are really weak on win monsters. I think water is our best attribute or attribute. Um, and then fire has obviously um, Seek, the fire hellhound, but that's it. Um, water's been very kind to us, I'll give it that. But then again, you do start off with the, uh, Water Fairy and the Water Magic Knight, so it's like, I mean, what else can you use? Um, okay, so we're, we're making good progress here. Pretty much, what I'm looking at at this very moment is, um, we're gonna need to put some more HP, obviously, on the Water War Bear if we want to build him. Um, other than that, you know, there... Him, both him and the uh, Frankenstein can take a lot of hits, so they're actually very good utility monsters, very useful for um, blending in with strong attackers like the uh, Magic Knight, which, again, strong attackers. It's not exactly the best monster in the game for attacking, but for now, we don't have, um, we don't have very many options, so we'll take it. But as soon as we can get these guys to take some more hits, we're not going to have many problems. Um, man... I actually have never built a Yeti. I'm really curious to see how useful those Yeti are, because they are so annoying to fight against. So, you know, maybe maybe if we come across a decent Yeti, I might use one. Um, you never know. I think we just pulled the water the water uh, Garuda as well. Uh, Konamiya. That's actually a very, very good monster, but I've built that in every single walkthrough that I've done, or every single um, server that I've played the account on. I've built it, and it is an easy win monster, but I don't think I'm going to go crazy on trying to make sure that that's the first one built, because I want to show you guys different monsters than what everybody else is showing you. Because if I'm showing you the same units, you're not learning anything. You're not going to learn how to, um, you know, try different things. It's going to be just one set of monsters throughout the whole game, and that gets boring, so. Um, again, this is our easy win team, though. I could definitely use some other ones, but it would cause us to have to go back, re-rune, upgrade runes, and obviously do some leveling up, which we don't have time for that yet. Uh, we will. I'll pro I think I actually have a 12-hour uh, experience booster. I can pop that, obviously off-camera, and just grind everybody's levels up. Um, so next episode, or the next time you guys um, see me record, because I might ha actually do two in one night, just to kind of make up for the absence. So you guys will see a huge step up from the levels from previously to now. Um, which would be obviously a really good thing because level 12, level 8, and you know stuff like that. Just it's not working at this point. We need to we need to max these guys out. So yeah, Magic Knight still doing some really good damage. I forgot what you actually get for completing this. Um, actually, no, you don't get anything for completing this one because this is hard. So never mind, never mind. Scratch that. But I forgot what Tamor gives you for completing it. Is it I? I believe it might be, uh, I don't know, maybe it's, maybe it's Rainbow Mon, or maybe I'm wrong. You know what, it could be, it could be runes, to be honest, that's what I'm thinking, maybe four star, the four star runes that, that'd be really nice though, because we're doing awful with our runes. Okay, we got two out of three provoke, see that's why he's really useful, is the provoke is just gonna really annoy people, and also, he, that makes him actually a very useful monster for um, your arena defense, because if you can hit that AoE provoke, all of your units, or all of their units, have a potential chance to start hitting him, and if they can only use their first skill on him, they're not going to be doing a lot of damage, and if you rack his defense up that high, wow, he has some potential, except 
you know, obviously he'd have to go. He'd probably have to go first. You know, he has to have a lot of speed, and I just don't have speed, obviously. And it's too early in the game to really care about that. But eventually, you know, he's gonna need some speed. So two minutes to complete this one. Not awful. And then we get the Yeti. Okay, so we actually get the Water Yeti. I'll keep it around unless we absolutely need food. Um, who knows? Could be a ver potentially a very good monster. But only because I've never seen... Or I've never built Yetis, but I've seen them be built. And they are very, very annoying. Um, so what do we want to do with this? I want to kind of take in... I'm foreshadowing a stage with a lot of wins. So I might want to take in... Actually, I'm going to take in a blend of different units this time. Nope, that's not a good idea. Here we go. Right here. Uh, we'll take him in. Take him in. And do it this way. Now, if the first stage is water, Seek is going to be dead. Pretty much, obviously. So, my my hope is that... Okay, so there's one. I'm going to try and see... Yeah, I wanted to take that unit out. Um, wow. Wow. Hellhound didn't take that much damage, I'm surprised. Okay, so there goes him. Okay, we definitely need to awaken some of these monsters too. I need to actually get my butt in gear and, you know, start... Start farming some of these uh, elemental dungeons because I have been pretty much just going for runes and things and completely disregarding the fact that I need to awaken a lot of monsters. Especially if I'm going to be doing it this way. You know, I love having different options to take in. I don't like carrying one team because it makes it so, I don't know, repetitive. And because of that, we're going to have a lot of units and it's going to take a long time to get to the same place. But when we get there, we're going to have different options, different units. And to be honest, this is, this is for you guys to be able to really enjoy everything there is in this game. Not just, you know, how to get to from, you know, zero to here, how to get from start to point A or point B with, you know, the quickest. I'm showing you how to do it in the, the most amount of ways. So if you, you think you're stuck in a certain situation, I'll show you what you can do to get out of it. And, um, you know, also, I don't think a lot of other YouTubers are building every single monster that they can get their hands on that seem interesting. I think they're kind of telling you what to do too much, and that's constricting your ability to grow in the game. Because there's a lot of things that certain monsters do that are very interesting and could work that... A lot of these YouTubers aren't telling you because they're telling you the easiest way out, rather than telling you how to actually strategize and function within the you know the skill sets of a unit. So um, that's that's pretty much. I, I love doing that. I love theory crafting. That's my favorite thing. So um, you know, with that being said, I hope to give you guys some really good advice. Um, we got a water harpoon. I don't know. Ooh, somebody just got a sea emperor. Which one? Which one? Oops, oops, oops. Oh, wind. Okay. Um, the wind one's alright. My favorite one out of the, you know, original three is the water, and then after that I like the light one probably more than all of them. Oops, so... Oh, this is the final stage. I didn't even realize that. Okay. Um... I think we better go with Provoke for now. <laughs> oops. Don't want him as a leader. All right, that should be good. Um, actually, if you guys can see my double fire fairy, I've been very, very interested to see. I've been testing something out with running two fire fairies, and I might have came, came through with a little breakthrough for you guys. Um, I don't know. I like, like I said, I like testing different strategies, and both of them have pretty decent attacking skills. With um, I think it was attack bar reduction or attack break. I'm not sure. And then also um, AOE skills to obviously hit the entire uh, stage. I built one for damage and one for stun. So there's one on despair and one on fatal. And if you run the doubles, if you can hit back to back, it almost feels like you're using, f like, obviously, baby versions of Lucian. It's kind of like a, like a fire, like a double fire Lucian. Obviously a lot less damage, but in in the respect of how to actually go about it, it seems very, very similar. And, um, you know, they're surprisingly powerful monsters for being, like, 12th or 13th on my list for most useful, so, um, we'll see. You know, if I can build both of them, 
I will build both, build both of them. Also, because I don't think anybody has ever talked about the Fire Fairy, and I'm surprised, because it's actually not that bad of a monster. Okay, so we might actually lose this stage. I might have to take a, a friend's monster in. Does not look too good. You know, I hate doing that because it it makes, you know, certain monsters that could be growing, it stunts their growth and just replaces them. Um, but, I don't know. We kind of want to get through this quickly, right? So, I will replace... Uh, let's see, who can I replace? I think we'll have to replace him. And then I will just go with you. You're kind of in the middle. It's just all magic knights, so... I mean, it doesn't really matter what we choose. I'm just choosing, you know, not the worst, but also not the best. So I'm going to save the best for a stage that we really, really need. And then we're going to probably shut this episode off pretty soon. Wow, it's already been 16 minutes. Um, you know, I'll show you guys a couple more things. And then, obviously, off camera, I'm going to start to do a lot more so that every time I come in, um, I'll be able to do some pretty cool things. Also, if you check the uh, thing, I believe it's right here. Um, it says, uh, since last lightning, and it's been four summons. Now, one of those summons was was on this account. The other four was on um, my main account. Or the other three, sorry. Now, that's not to say that we only had one summon. In fact, we've had, I think, like seven summons now on this account and have never pulled a nat four yet. So that's pretty, it's pretty uh, interesting. But I've been getting lightning... I think every six or seven monsters for like three times in a row now. I got the water, um, water rock shasta, wind harg, and uh, I believe something else. Oh wow, we're gonna. Okay, yeah, we definitely need to uh, level up our monsters a little bit more. So we're gonna do that. Um, let's see. <laughs> And then I'm going to, uh, I'm saving up some more crystals. I, I bought the baby premium pack, not the 11 scrolls, but the three, um, in hopes that I could maybe pull a lightning, get our first nat four, other than, you know, obviously the, uh, the beautiful, amazing magic knight, but we could not, so, you know, and we're going to expand this, why not? So we're kind of putting our scrolls back up, or scrolls, um crystals. So, maybe, you know, we're going to save up for a while and see what we can pull. Hopefully something good, you know. I'd really, really love to get some good monsters. You know, ew, already? Uh, I hate to do this, but this is so much easier to get. So, we're going to go with this. We're running low on that money, though. Okay. Um, there's still possibility to get some decent units out of just unknown, unknown scrolls, sorry. Um, but in order, uh, what's it gonna be? Final one is a forest keeper, so, no. None at all. Although, we can check this. Uh, I think we have enough for one. I believe we do. Right here, oops, no. I didn't even click the wrong one, or the right one. Sorry. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. Alright, only one social summon. Oh, no, actually, I'm not gonna. By the way, the reason I was being rude to Andrew today was because I told you I was going to be rude to him the next time I saw him for ruining my class. And for ruining my grade in that class. Oh, well, you should have told him that. I'm recording right now, though. Your He's right here. Oh. This Skyler, it's not okay. I'm... I am sorry about that, guys. People just have no respect. <laughs> oh well. Um, most important thing is that we gotta we gotta level this guy up. Okay, what? Oh, okay. One second. There we go. All right, I'm all jumbled up now. Shit. <laughs> That's okay. Um. Yeah, I'm all jumbled. Okay, here we go. So, we can actually, we have the fodder to make a four star, although none of our monsters are maxed, so 
that's one thing I'm gonna have to do. Um, I'm gonna try and level up this Water Magic Knight as much as possible, though. That is, I think, the most important thing that we, we can do right now is get her max leveled, and then obviously work on some other stuff. But her runes are decent. She's our best monster, so we need to uh, treat her like it, obviously. And then clear up some of the space, too. Oh, we're kind of dropping some frames. Okay. Yeah, we're almost out of mana, too. We went through, like, 70,000 already. It's incredible. <laughs> okay. Alright, so she's level 25. That's not too bad. Um... We're getting about a thousand back here. Uh, what level are we? I think 12? Maybe I'm wrong, I don't know. Oops. Okay, what is this? Oh, is this a new person? Yeah, I think it's- yep, it's a new person to battle, so... Okay, well- Oh, we're at level 13. We can actually do that. What is this? Okay. Nope. Um, yeah, we will battle all these people. And I think we'll start off with Greedy. Why not? So what's the best team to go with? Um, we'll go with our, our easy win team, pretty much. Uh, not him. Not yet, anyways. I think Tion is way too useful to be downplayed for... Uh, what's it called, the Frankenstein just yet. I mean, I don't know, again, Frankenstein seems very interesting, but I don't know if he's going to outdo Tion. Tion is a very good utility monster. Um, and a lot of people don't realize that you actually get him the same time you get the uh, Magic Knight, so he's a good monster, but people people don't build him. Uh, I don't know if I would six-star him immediately, but eventually he can be done. Uh, get this out of the way, come on. All right. Oops, I I thought I uh clicked auto. I don't know what happened. <laughs> okay. So I mean, for the most part, this is this is autoable. You shouldn't have any problems. Later on, towards the second to last and maybe last um, battler from the arena, you may have some issues. You may not be able to auto it, but for the start, you should be pretty good. Um, but eventually, once you you know level up to forty and stuff and start to get some decent monsters, they stop leveling with you, so you won't have too much problems. Um, but just in case, for example, this one, they're kind of catching up level-wise, so maybe maybe we won't auto this one. I'll show you guys doing it without auto. Um, just to show you what you would do. So I'm going to power Magic Knight up since that's pretty much the best thing to do. Uh, give her the attack boost. And decent damage, not ridiculous, but they ended up killing Rauk, sh or Seek, sorry. I always get them two mixed up. It's horrible. I, I don't know why. I've always done it, though. Um, and then this should be enough to take at least one of them out. Okay, at least they're not healable, so we'll take it. Um... Uh, Okay, and this should finish it off. Yep. Okay, and then we have the last person left. So, um, after that, we'll call it an episode. It's already been 24 minutes. It goes by very, very quickly. Um, this one, yikes. Okay, actually, that's not too bad. No, we, we'll handle it. You can get up to 10 buffs. I don't even think I've ever gotten 10 buffs from uh, this. I usually don't win that many games straight. Um, cause I, I get really confident and then go into an overpowered, uh, battle and end up losing. Okay, so that actually killed one. That was pretty good. Oh, look at that.
Okay, put some defense on him. I don't, I thought he had a provoke, does he? Maybe I'm wrong. We'll try and take this guy out. As I said, that I completely tried to go for the other one. So, great. Um, oh, well, it doesn't really matter. They're dead. And that solves that. So we beat her. Wasn't really... Wasn't a problem. Um, what did we get, though? Got some energy. We got ten crystals. We'll take the ten crystals. I'm never going to complain with that. And 800 experience, so not bad at all. And then we get the 2,000 and 10 energy. So, yeah, we're going to go ham with the energy later on. Um, and we'll definitely get back to you with some more. Let's see. Okay, so how close are we to our thing? So we got 42. I think you only need 30 for the first one, to be honest. Oh, no, you need 80. Uh, the first one was 30. This one's 80. Um... We should be saving up for the Devilmon, although none of our monsters are even that great. So, I mean, it doesn't doesn't really make a difference what we do. Um, how close are we to the next reward, though, for the thing? We'll check that right before we end. Come on. I hope we actually get enough for the scroll. No, we're, we're far away. We still need, like, 124. Okay, well, with that being said, we've gotten through five episodes of this series. Um, not doing too bad, actually. So... Um, you guys have been leaving likes and things. I think all of them have over five likes now, so, you know, I'm okay with that. Um, if you guys would like to see anything in particular, or anybody has any interests or thoughts, let me know down in the comments below. I will definitely check those out for you. Thank you for watching, and without further ado, stay classy, ladies and gentlemen, and peace out.